hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add the gravity to our player so if you open up the player script right here remove this cc dot move from this if condition and paste it outside the if condition because we want to move the player whenever the player movement method or function is called okay not just when the movement amount is greater than zero and then right here at the top in the update function what we will do we will say that if the player is on the surface then we want to keep the player on the surface and if the player is not on the surface then what we will do we will apply gravity to the player so that the player moves down to the surface or ground but before doing this right here in the player collision and gravity let's create a float by the name of falling speed then after this else condition we will create a variable by the name of velocity and this will be equals to the movement direction so type that right there and then we will multiply that by the movement speed so we will say movement speed and then after this the velocity dot y will be equals to the falling speed then right here if the player is on the surface then the falling speed will be equals to minus 0 0.5 f okay and if the player is not on the surface then we want to apply the gravity so the falling speed will be plus equals to physics dot gravity dot y will be multiplied by the time dot delta time because when the player will be falling from a higher position then we want the falling speed to be increased every second so that's why we use plus equals to physics dot gravity dot y and we multiply that by the time dot delta time and you will be thinking that where this this gravity come from so if you get back to unity right here in click on edit project settings then click on physics and right here you will find this gravity okay which is by default equals to minus 9.81 okay so if you just simply save this and get back to unity you will notice right here that it shows that the name move direction does not exist in the current context and what this means that say that on this 35 line this movement direction doesn't exist because if you notice it this is a vector 3 right here which is the movement direction okay and we can't access this outside of this player movement method or function okay and as you can see we are using that right here in the update so now we need to fix this okay so in order to do this first of all let me just make the falling speed actually a serialized field okay so that we can see this in our inspector and after this what we will do we will actually also use a serialized field okay and we will create a vector 3 by the name of move dir or move direction and then what we will do right here we have this movement direction so we will equal this to our move dir vector 3 okay so after this if condition or above this if condition if you want you can just type move actually not move dir first we will type the movement direction will be equals to the move dir okay so whatever the xyz values is in the movement direction it will be equals to this move dir okay and then right here in the update function instead of this movement direction we will just simply type move dir multiply by the movement speed and that is it 
So now if we save that, get back to Unity, as you can see the error has been gone and if you click on our player, there is the player in the air, okay, let's move him up there if you want, okay, and now you can notice the falling speed is zero and this is the move direction, so now if we actually play the game you will notice the falling speed will be increasing as you can see, okay and when uh, the player touches the ground it becomes equals to minus 0 0.5 now if we play the game again you will notice that the player feet are not touching the ground okay so this is an issue as well so in order to fix this issue let's click on the player okay as you can see we want the player feet to be like this on the surface okay so in order to do that make sure that the surface check offset X I mean offset Z actually is similar to this center Z okay of the character controller so let's make this as 0 0.07 okay this can be a bit different a one or two values but not a big difference okay so make sure that if this is for example in my case is 0 0.06 so I will just make this as 0 0.07 okay and then right here the skin width let's make the skin width as 0 0.04 okay this values might be different for your game but just try changing them okay and I will leave everything as it is so now if I play the game okay now as you can see the player feet are on the surface okay and now let's try to change this value to 0 0.08 okay and now if we try to make the player move as you can see the player of the the player feet is now in the air a little bit if we try to increase this to one as you can see now the player feet is even more in the air okay so in order to fix that as I told you try decreasing this value so for example if I leave this as 0 0.04 now as you can see the player feet is perfectly on the ground okay so in this way you can simply overcome this issue with the player feet okay and if this doesn't work for you try changing the height of your character controller as well okay so as you can see by changing the skin width it works perfectly fine now okay now our player controller is fully completed and we have added the gravity as well so with this done, let's end this video right here.